All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It's Monday, starting that work week off. Hope you are all doing well today and had a nice weekend. And did you enjoy the Indigo Girls yesterday? Did anyone check that album out? Kind of quiet in the comments section. That's all right. It's all good. What are we talking about today? I'm just trying to uh, loop back around on some bands, um, making my list for the fall. See, uh, bands we haven't covered yet, songs we haven't covered yet. The list is long. Uh, we're going back to basically the mid early 80s, uh, and we're talking about this band out of Liverpool, England, Echo and the Bunny Men. Some of you are fans, and some of you know their songs, but don't know. That you know their songs. Uh, they formed in 1978. Their debut record in 1980 was a top 20 UK hit. They had a cult following for a few years and then they hit it big over there in 1983 with the song The Cutter which was a top 10 hit over there. Uh, again here in the United States we just just not as cool as those in the UK right? Uh, maybe seen on 120 minutes on MTV if you remember that show. Uh, but uh, you really had to listen to college radio to uh, to get a uh, listen to them. And I, I don't know where I picked up on them. I mean, I must have picked up on them uh, in college. Uh, actually, I think I got a hold of them in high school, late in high school. I'm not sure how, though. It was probably those college radio stations that I was listening to. Uh, I would leave a cassette in the player and record it at night and then listen to whatever they were playing the next day. Uh, by 1985, they had essentially a greatest hits. I mean, they basically put out a, a, a cassette single uh, of singles called Songs to Learn and Sing, and it was all their singles up until that point. That's the first one that I ever had of them, and that's how I got to know who they were. Uh, and uh, I've been a fan ever since. You can still hear plenty of their music on First Wave. Uh, you got, uh, and you got a, a handful of songs you're going to check out today if you are not familiar with them. Uh, Bring On the Dancing Horses, The Cutter, as we talked about, Seven Seas, that's a great song, uh, Rescue, also one of the songs you might be aware of. If you don't know Bed Bugs and Ballyhoo, that one's fun, do enjoy that one. The Killing Moon, that was the first one I ever remember hearing from them, uh, and that one is a personal favorite of mine. Certainly contention for Song of the Day, probably came in a close second. The one that uh, we're going to go with today is, again, one of my favorites, uh, Lips Like Sugar. A little too poppy for the lead singer, but uh, it was a, basically a great hit for them in 1987. The song did not chart in the United States, but it was very popular in college radio and that those circles and is still to this day uh, a popular song if you like such music. It's just amazing that this song did not chart. So we are talking Echo and the Bunny Men today. Tell me if you remember these songs or if you're fans or if you don't, check them out and tell me what you think. Uh, but your song of the day, Lips Like Sugar. It's a great way to start the week. Enjoy your day, whatever it is you're doing. And as usual, I'll catch on the flip side. 